So this video focuses on changes and effects on private budget deficit. It might start out to be quite a bit confusing, but I hope that it will become less confusing at the end of the video. So we're just going to start off talking about how the changes in government spending have uncertain immediate effects on private budget deficit. And that the, the government spending implies more income, which implies more spending by everybody, which implies that we have more income at the end of the economy. And this point reflects the point that we just talked about, that government spending implies increased induced autonomous expenditure, which implies an increase in total income. Now, I know that this doesn't really make a lot of sense right now, but by going through these examples, it will, and I'm sure it will, and you will understand it at the end of the video. So, we have initialized the old government spending as 20, the tax rate as 20%, and the total income as 50, and uh, substituting these values into our primary budget deficit formula, we get 10. Now suppose that the government's increased their spending from 20 to 30, so there's an increase of 10 and increased it, and that increased the total income from 50 to 100, so an increase of 50. Now let's calculate our new primary budget deficit. So our new primary budget deficit, but uh, the new government spending is 30 minus the tax rate which stayed the same at 20 minus times the the new uh, total income which is 100 that is essentially 30 minus 20 so we get 10 so the new primary budget deficit is 10 so the primary budget deficit stayed the same PBD stays the same stays same because the old PBD is 10 and the new PBD, PBD is 10 that means that the government uh, spent as much as they did uh, last year when they calculate the old PBD. Now a quick note for you, the, our simple multiplier, multiplier is 5. And how did I get 5? Well remember the, the formula for simple multiplier is the change in Y over the change in AE. Now we don't know anything about our other, uh, other, uh, like, are other variables that build up AE. So we just assume that the only change that builds up AE is our is G naught. This is AE naught. And G naught changed from 20 to 30, which is 10. So there's a change of 10 for AE. And we know already that there's a change of 50. So taking 50 divided by 10, we get 5, which is our simple multiplier. And this implies that the government spending $10 creates uh, $50 for the economy and that's done now the second example suppose that the government increased their spending from 20 to 30 like the last example and y increased from 50 to 150 so there's a change in 100 and yeah you, that this is really for calculating simple multiplier so you don't we're, not, we're really not going to focus on that right now so the new prime budget deficit is substituting the numbers in 30 minus 0 0.2 times 150 equal to 0. So in this case, our primary budget deficit actually fell. So PBD fell. Now uh, the primary budget deficit is uh, what we called, we have a balanced primary budget, balanced PD or pr balanced primary budget, P balanced PB. And you can see that, uh, I guess you can say that the amount that the government spent uh, in, rela in relation to the old PBD is better because our primary budget deficit before was 10. And remember, so then that means that, uh, that the government spent more than it has uh, in, the, in the last year, but in this year they actually uh, they actually broke even and didn't spend it, didn't spend as much. Now suppose that the government spending increased from 20 to 30 and Y increased from uh, 50 to 70. There's supposed to be an up here or here. Increased from 50 to 70. So the new primary budget deficit, new PBD is 30 minus 0 0.2 times 70, and that give us 16. So the primary budget deficit rose. So compared to the last year, uh, 
the last PVD, which was 10. The new PVD is 16. That means that the government has spent uh, way more than it has compared to last year. And yeah, so I guess the moral of the story is that without numbers, without numbers, we can't be certain of anything. We can't be certain. We can say that we can say that the primary budget uh, increased, as in uh, the last case, the prime budget decreased, as in the first case, or the primary budget stayed the same, as in well, uh, the primary budget decreased, as in the second case, and the primary budget stayed the same, as in the first case. So we say that it's uncertain. We say it's uncertain. And that wasn't that hard, and I'm sure that you understand what we did in today's video. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.